You ever heard of that phrase, don't drop the soap? Well, I dropped the soap last week, but not in prison. Hey, let me tell you about my first mistake at my job. Because in the restaurant industry, the soap is the sauce. And I dropped the sauce. Well, really, I spilled the sauce. But let me tell you what happened. Because you got to know how to deal with these things when they happen. You got to learn from mistakes. Everyone has to learn from mistakes. But they don't got to be your mistakes. They can be other people's mistakes. So, yaho, 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 everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Mr. Super Yankee. And I dropped the sauce. No one knows but me and you because I was upstairs on the second floor refilling the sauce containers and legit, I made a mistake. But let me tell you what happened. So recently, I got a job. Where did I get a job? At a restaurant as a host, right? And the host has certain responsibilities that they need to do. One of those big responsibilities is being the sauce master of the restaurant, right? I got to refill the sauce cups. I got to pack the sauce cups. I had to handle all of the to-go containers and all that good stuff. That's my job, right? But you know, we have these like big sauce ladles and when they're empty, we have to go upstairs to the second floor and we have to refill them. This is what's cool because the yum yum sauce was out at the restaurant. So I told the other hostess, the one that was working, I was in training. I was like, Hey, can I go refill the sauce of the yum yum? And they're like, yeah, sure. So I went upstairs to the second floor and this is where critical thinking, this is where college came in clutch. I went upstairs to the second floor and I saw a container without a label, but it was the same color as the yum yum sauce. And I thought to myself, hmm, I need to critically think this because this is, this is probably spicy mayo, right? And spicy mayo is not yum yum, but it's the same color. So if I put this in here, I think I'm going to make a mistake. So what I did was I went back downstairs and I asked the other host, I was like, Hey, is it spicy mayo that goes in here? They're like, no, it's yum yum. And yum yum is in that container over there. It was on the first floor. So that was critical thinking. First accident avoided. Really, really good job. If you don't know what to do, if you don't know what you're doing in training, be sure to ask questions. Not even just in training when you're on the job. Be sure to ask questions because questions, questions, questions will make sure that you don't get in trouble. But I got upstairs, right? And I got the yum yum container, right? And I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be my first sauce thing refilled. I'm feeling good, feeling ganky, right? And I start filling it. But you see, I don't know how to fill sauce. I don't know how to cook, right? So what do I do? I just like, I'll go like this. <laughs> just like that, right? And all the sauce just goes, it just falls all over the table. And I'm like, yo, what is this? Because it was not easy to clean up. I had to use like a hundred paper towels and water. It got on my shoes. And I'm like, geez, Louise, what am I going to do? So this is what I learned for my first mistake at my job. Do things slower because the reason the sauce spilled out the container is because I was pouring it too fast and it didn't like go all over the place. It wasn't like I just dumped it on the table. It was more like I was pouring it and the sauce was like coming out of multiple sides of the container, right? And that's why it got on the table. But what I learned afterwards is that if you pour it slowly, it'll come out just the, the one part of the container, right? And that's how you fill a sauce jar with sauce. Now you might be thinking, oh dude, this is obvious. This is, this is, what do I need to learn from this? If you're ever in this situation, I'm telling you this story can help man. It's do it slowly, slow and steady wins the race. Ain't no rabbit pouring sauce containers, right? Ain't no rabbits working in restaurants. You know what I mean? Rabbits are doing rabbit things. You know who's working in a restaurant? A turtle, man. A turtle's working in a restaurant because they're doing things with precision. They're getting things done right. And that's what we got to learn from this experience. That was just my training day. Today is my first day at work. I am super kluber uber excited to be here sharing with you the experience. I'm going to go to work later. It starts at like 1130, right? It's 848 right now. I'm gonna go to work later. I'm gonna tell you about my first day. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but we gotta put energy, effort, and ganky into our experiences, into our stories, into our life, because that will create the opportunity to live the life that we want to live. 
Anyway, everyone, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.